Good morning, everyone, and a good Erev Shabbos Kodesh. Today is our message of Bitochen from the Parsha, Parsha's Chukas. And perhaps there is no bigger Parsha of Bitochen in the Torah besides this. As it says in the opening line, Zeis, Chukas HaTorah SheTziva Hashem Leimor. This is the Chayk, this is the unexplainable law that we have in the Torah that HaKadosh Baruch Hu said over to Moshe Rabbeinu. And we know the famous para, Duma the Red Heifer, where the ashes and the water of the Red Heifer came to purify someone who had become impure by touching a corpse, a dead body. And as the person sprinkling, the impure person would purify the impure, he himself would get the impurity upon him and he would have to go through a purification process. So how could it be that someone that has the ability to purify somebody else, at the end of the day, is going to become impure on his own. Says the Torah, it's a law that is unexplainable. And even Shlomo Melech, the wisest of all men, who said that he understood every single mitzvah that there was in the Torah, this one, the Paraduma, the Ben Hefer, he's not able to understand. Rashi explains over here that what is a chayk, what does it mean, an unexplainable law? It means that even though human seichel, the human logic and mind and intellect cannot grasp the profundity of that which HaKadosh Baruch Hu has assigned us to do, even though the human mind will never be able to get into the depth of the real meaning and the true intent and purpose of the mitzvah that Hashem has bestowed upon us, nevertheless, it is a mitzvah that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has commanded us to do, it's a gezerahim elafonai. It is a mitzvah that I have given you, says Hashem. You don't have permission to have any questions or doubts or ask too much about it. Meaning, explains Rashi, the nature of a chayk of a mitzvah, which is, an, is a logically unexplainable law, is something that a Jew is makabal, they accept upon themselves, that since that I believe in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I believe in my Har Sinai, the Torah was given Har Sinai. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave over Kola Torah Kula to Moshe Beinu, who then shared it with all of Klal Yisrael. And on Beiteach, I trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu that every single mitzvah that we have, is for the benefit of our neshamas, of our nation, of the nitzchiyos, of the eternal life of Klal Yisrael. Even though I cannot understand, maybe even at all, what HaKadosh Baruch is saying over here, because there's a blatant contradiction in the mitzvah that makes it very difficult to fathom what was Hashem's kinvana, His intention when He gave it over. Nevertheless, since that I believe in Hashem, and I am Baitech, I trust in the Rebbein Nishailam, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who is the master of the world, the creator of the universe, the creator of my soul, he knows exactly what my Neshama needs to reach its ultimate spiritual perfection in this world. Then even a Choyk, even an unexplainable law in the Torah, which I myself will not be able to grasp at all, that too is something that I must throw myself into with great, his love was with enthusiasm and encouragement and with a, a zest to do mitzvahs with his zvizus and alacrity and all of the great midas that come along with it. Why? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu said to do it. Whatever HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to do, my amun and my bitachin is so faithful in Hashem that I'm ready and I'm able and there are no questions asked. I will do the will and the ratzan of Hashem. And that Zayis Chukas HaTayra, there are many other Chukim, there are many other mitzvahs that we have in the Torah that are also Chukim, that are unexplainable laws. The truth of the matter is, the laws of Kashras to a great extent are a chayk. Why should one animal be kosher, one should not be kosher? Meat and milk, you, could make, you can't mix together. Do you have a logical reason for that? We're not talking about medical reasons and health reasons because the doctors say to have a cheeseburger is an unhealthy thing. The Rebbeinah Sha'ilam said that for your spiritual portent and content of who you are, 
Eating a cheeseburger is an unhealthy thing. There's something called shatnis. You're not allowed to mix wool and linen together in the same garment, in the same article of clothing. Can you give a reason for that? Maybe they'll come up with scientific reasons. Wool and linen together, they don't, they're not a good conductor of electricity or power, whatever it might be. But that's not the reason that HaKadosh Baruch has. Will you understand Hashem's reason? No, you won't. Does it make you waver in your performance of the mitzvahs? No. On the other hand, a chayik, a mitzvah that is unexplainable, that itself is the greatest proof that I'm doing the mitzvahs not for my own sake, not because of the benefits that I'm going to receive, but rather I do the mitzvahs because I understand in my world of Amun and Mitochen that the Rebbe Nesho'elam has given this to me because it's the best thing in the world for a Yid, for a Neshama, and therefore I do it because I want to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu and fulfill His rots and His will in this world, in my lifetime. That's Zayis Chukas HaTayra. That is a great expression and a display of the Bitochen, of the trust, that one has inside of them, and in Mirz Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch will give us the kayach, will give us the insight and the foresight to continue steiging away in mitzvahs, those that we do understand, those that we don't understand, those that we have deeper connection to, those that we have a less of a connection to, all because HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Omar, he said to do, and therefore we, we makayim the mitzvahs of HaKadosh Baruch Hu with b'chol levavichel with all of our hearts, b'chol meyadecha with all of our might, b'chol nafshecha and all of our souls. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shamis.